Hello friends, in today's video, we shall discuss about homogeneous and non-homogeneous production functions. A production function is said to be homogeneous if after multiplying each of the inputs in the production function by a constant, it can be k or it can be any symbol like lambda, t, etc. So, if each of the inputs in a production function is multiplied by a constant and if that constant can be factored out, then that production function is said to be homogeneous. Say for example, a production function q is equal to the function of labor and capital is given here. So, if we multiply this production function with a constant k, then we get q star is equal equal to the function of k l k k and if we factor out the constant k then we get q star is equal to k raised to n the function of labor and capital where n is the degree of homogeneity if the value of n is equal to 1 then the production function implies constant returns to scale now if the value of n is greater than 1 then it implies an increasing returns to scale production function and if the value of n is less than 1 then the production function implies diminishing or decreasing returns to scale now if the value of n is equal to 0 then that particular function implies that if the independent variables are increased in the same proportion the dependent variable remains unaffected it is to be noted that here I have only mentioned the term function and not production function why because for a production function the degree of homogeneity can never be 0 if it is 0 then it means that if the inputs are increased in the same proportion the output remains unchanged which is not applicable in the case of production function so the degree of homogeneity can be 0 for demand functions, say for example indirect utility function is a homogeneous function of degree 0. It means that if prices of all the goods and consumers income is increased in the same proportion, then the consumer's budget constraint or purchasing power will remain unaffected, which is why the consumer will be purchasing the same quantity of the good before the change in price and income. Now let's see some examples of homogeneous production function. Suppose a production function Q is equal to 4L plus 3K is given. So first of all we have to multiply this production function with a constant k and then factor out the constant k. So multiplying this production function with a constant k we get q star is equal to 4kl plus 3kk and factoring out the constant we get q star is equal to k raised to 1 4l plus 3k. So here the value of n is equal to 1 which implies that this production function is a homogeneous production function implying constant returns to scale. Let's see another example say q is equal to l raised to 0.4 k raised to 0.1 here also we have to multiply the production function with a constant here we are taking lambda as a constant so q star is equal to lambda l the whole raised to 0.4 lambda k the whole raised to 0.1 now simplifying this production function and factoring out the constant we get q star is equal to lambda raised to 0.4 plus 0.1 l raised to 0.4 k raised to 0.1 so since the value of n is equal to 0.5 which is less than 1 we can say that this production function implies diminishing returns to scale. Now let us take another example. Say q is equal to l cube k square. We have to multiply the production function with a constant lambda and we get q star is equal to lambda l the whole cube lambda k the whole square. Now opening the brackets and factoring out the constant we get q star is equal to lambda raised to 3 plus 2 multiplied by l raised to 3 k raised to 2. So since the value of n is equal to 5 which is greater than 1 we can say that this production function is a homogeneous function implying increasing returns to scale. Let us take one more example. Say q is equal to l k divided by l plus k. Here also we have to follow the same process. We have to multiply the production function with a constant. We have taken t here as a constant and since the production function is in a fraction form, we have to multiply the constant on to both numerator and denominator. And so we get q star is equal to t l t k divided by t l plus t k. Now factoring out the k we get q star is equal to t square l k by t multiplied by l plus k cancelling out the t from the denominator and 1 t from the numerator we get q star is equal to t raised to 1 l k divided by l plus k since the value of n is equal to 1 this is a linear homogeneous production function which implies constant returns to scale Next is the non-homogeneous production function. A production function is said to be non-homogeneous if after multiplying each of the inputs in the production function by a constant k, if we can't factor out the constant completely, then that production function is said to be non-homogeneous. Say for example, a production function q is equal to k square plus 2l plus kl is given. So here also we have to follow the same process that is multiply the production function with a constant and then factor out the constant. Multiplying the 
प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन विद कॉन्स्टेंट बी गेट क्यू स्टार इज इक्वल टू के के द होल स्क्वायर प्लस टू के एल प्लस के 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 एल नो सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट क्यू स्टार इज इक्वल टू के स्क्वायर के स्क्वायर प्लस टू के एल प्लस के स्क्वायर के एल नो फैक्टरिंग आउट द कॉन्स्टेंट के वी गेट क्यू स्टार इज इक्वल टू के मल्टीप्लाइड बाई के रेज टू वन के स्क्वायर प्लस टू एल प्लस के रेज टू वन के एल सो सिंस द कॉन्स्टेंट के कुड नॉट बी फैक्टर आउट कम्प्लीटली दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इज अ नॉन होमोजीनियस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन दैट इज फॉर दिस टर्म देर इज ओनली वन के सो फ्रॉम दी एंटायर फंक्शन वी कैन ओनली फैक्टर आउट वन के दैट इज वाई द कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर दीज टू टर्म्स आर लेफ्ट हियर विच इज वाई दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इज अ नॉन होमोजीनियस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जाम्पल से क्यू इज इक्वल टू थ्री के क्यूब प्लस के एल प्लस टू एल स्क्वायर नो मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन विद कॉन्स्टेंट लैमडा वी गेट क्यू स्टार इज इक्वल टू थ्री लैमडा के द होल क्यूब प्लस लैमडा के लैमडा एल प्लस टू लैमडा एल द होल स्क्वायर नो सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज ओपनिंग द ब्रैकेट वी गेट क्यू स्टार इज इक्वल टू थ्री लैमडा क्यूब के क्यूब प्लस लैमडा स्क्वायर के एल प्लस टू लैमडा स्क्वायर एल स्क्वायर नो फैक्टरिंग आउट द लैमडा वी गेट क्यू स्टार इज इक्वल टू लैमडा स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई लैमडा के क्यूब प्लस के एल प्लस टू एल स्क्वायर सो हियर ऑल्सो द लैमडा कुड नॉट बी फैक्टर्ड आउट कम्प्लीटली विच इज वाई दिस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन इज ऑल्सो अ नॉन होमोजीनियस प्रोडक्शन फंक्शन